Um, questions about the dashboard? Uh, what kinds of content could be considered for the post? Okay, great, leading. So, um, now, we're gonna talk about theming too, but they, they are interrelated. Um, now this one here, uh, where I lost track of it. So this is kind of an example of what your, your page is going to look like if you've just installed it and uh, you're not really doing, you haven't done anything with it yet. I mean, this is a very sort of plain install uh, of WordPress. This one has been themed a little bit, but fundamentally, um, they're going to be very similar in that they both have pages, they both have posts. Okay, so let's say let's say from uh, from a starting point, we want to add a post, and what are those characteristics of a post? So I add a post by going to the post section on the sidebar, and I can say add new, and at the base level, a post has a title and content. Okay, so if you think about a typical news site that you've been to, right, the, the news article has a headline, right, the title, and then it has the chunk of information that's in the middle, right? So um, I want to add a new post to my site that says, howdy, uh, or hello, to the WordPress meetup. That's the title of the, of the page or the, the post, sorry. And uh, the content might just be, we are testing out a post looks like on a WordPress site. Now, for those of you who have done any kind of word processing, which is pretty much everybody nowadays, <laughs> this is gonna look a little bit familiar, right? So. Traditionally, when we build a web page, it might actually look more something like this, where you have code and blah, blah, and brackets and things like that. <coughs> we don't have to do that uh, with WordPress. Once we have it installed, if we want to put something up there and we want to make it bold, uh, we can simply click on an item or highlight it and click this bold button, and it's going to make that bold. It's going to write that code for us. Um, let's say we want to link to something else. I have an article, um, let's say uh, my consulting page. I want this to be a link so that when you click on my consulting page, it goes to my, my web page. I highlight that and this little icon here is a link button. When I click on that, it wants to know where I want that to go. So you can see here, right, there's not a lot of coding. In fact, there's hardly any coding or none at all. Um, I'm just typing things in or clicking a button and it's doing it. Let's say I want this to be live now. That would simply be publish over here on the right. <laughs> publish the post and here we go. Go to this site. Internet's a little slow. There we go. There's my post. Now a post has a lot of attributes to it, okay? Because you might have a blog that you are going to use for a long period of time. So you're gonna be updating articles, you might be writing different content uh, on various subjects, and you wanna catalog that in a way that's logical to you, and hopefully logical to your users, right? So there's a couple of useful tools for that when you're writing a post. Um, one is called categories. And categories are really just made by you. When you install WordPress, uh, it's gonna give you one category, which is just uncategorized. But let's say that a big focus of your blog is gonna be cooking. You can add a new category, and you can call it cooking. And you can check that category, and it's going to file it under cooking. And that actually has more than just uh, categorization value. It actually uh, makes it easier to find later on. Because when I go to the post, you notice here, the theme I'm using actually calls out that uh, category. 
and it, it makes it into a link. So if I click on that link, it's going to pull up all of the posts that I have on cooking. And my users can too. So categories are really powerful ways for you to put something into a bucket that is sortable later on. <coughs> Another thing that's sort of related is a tag. And a tag is sort of a looser form of that same idea. A category has value uh, amongst WordPress uh, so that you can create a whole page just for one category or you can pull up all the categories. A tag might be something a little bit more ephemeral, uh, same idea, and it'll still make it sortable. But you know, I might say uh, cooking, but let's say um, cheese and pasta and bread. Right, so I might have a lot of tags for a particular post, whereas categories might be more regulated. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Yeah. What, what's the value of, of adding the tags? Since the categories really work for me, but I've, no one's ever explained to me why I should go to all the trouble of putting tags on. You might not need tags. So the question was, what's why would I use tags instead of, instead of or as well as as well as categories? And uh, you don't have to use tags. I, I myself, I have a blog that I've I've been basically managing categories exclusively. Uh, tags just give you a more specific way of narrowing down that content. So if you write about a lot of different subjects and you want it to be more sortable later on down the line, you can use tags. Uh, if you know that you're gonna be sticking to one particular category, category kind of has a little bit higher value, higher quality in, in WordPress. Yeah. Don't tags help the person viewing the website if they search for like a word, and let's say it's mm -hmm. not cooking, but it's cupcakes, mm -hmm. and cupcakes is a tag, isn't that what tags are for? Yeah. Well, anything that you put in the... Yeah, anything that you put in, uh, to the post gives it more uh, kind of an easier way of sorting it and searching it. So yeah, a tag might be uh, more helpful for searches if you want to make, make it. The website is not like a tag. It's going to help the website. Not necessarily. It's not going to. It's not going to make it any more searchable by by. A, I mean, it, it could help. It, but you know, having the word in the post is enough. Yeah. But one thing that's confusing me now. It seems that with the theme that I have, I can do certain things on the home page, and then on the other pages, I can do other things. Mm -hmm. You know, on the home page, I, I can. It says I'm capable of five columns, but on the home page, it only seems that it's, it's capable of two columns, and then you have to put in all the rest of the stuff mm -hmm. as widgets. So that's a little bit further ahead than we are right I know, now. No, just like that's like okay. Confusing. We're going to keep going. There. Yeah. I am. Stymied like with the category tag thing mm -hmm. in like trying to use it. Mm -hmm. like, I still don't understand. Just still understand. Like, can you give me a case of using tags? Because I so far I'm ignoring them and I feel like I'm missing. Something. I do the same thing personally, but yeah. Um, you talk, there are sort of plugins and things which might use the tags. And for instance, the M relate plugin that you always see is related posts that goes on underneath right. underneath the site. So that yeah. might make use of the tags to pick out which posts appear underneath the thing. So, so yeah. there are those kind of things where you might not have it on the front page and you can click on it, but it yeah. might be used. Those categories are more if you want to like, you know, you want to post a thing so everybody can look at every post in the whole category. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, before you How did I create the post? Yeah, uh, what did you, the post went on a particular page, and what did you do to select that page? Uh, so, the page that the post came up on is the, the main page of my blog, which is dependent on the theme that you're using. So when we talk about themes, they might be organized differently. A lot of themes, most themes that you're gonna get, all the posts are gonna go on the first page, and then pages will go on separate areas. So let's talk about the pages next, because this is related. I think you guys have some great questions so far, and we'll keep talking about posts. So I'm gonna add a new page, and um, if I create a page here, so a page we said is a little bit more static, and um, it has a kind of a higher value in a way. A post might be this long list of posts, right? Uh, a page, though, is elevated a little bit, usually. So let's say that I wanted to create a page for uh, a portfolio, right? Not that I'm not adding to my portfolio all the time, because I am, and uh, afterwards it's a photo shoot if you want. Uh, no, I'm joking. But um, the idea, right, with portfolio might be that it's not gonna change every day. I might add a post every day about something that interests me, right, but portfolio is somewhat static. So I, I hit publish here on this site. <laughs> And 
and now I have a new link at the top for Portfolio. So with this particular site, just like on that other site, we have all of the posts which go into the middle here, right, on the main page. But a page is separated out. If I click on that page link, it shows me the content there, right? Um, would you say pages uh, go on the navigation part of the website or the blog, and then the post will be within the body? It depends on the theme, but typically a theme will have pages, yes, on a navigation bar or on the side, okay. versus a post which goes into a main central area on the index page. Okay. But it does depend on the theme. Okay. Is there a limit to the amount of pages you have? No. No, there's no limit, but there may be a limit by the theme for how many that show up. Yeah. So that's limited by the theme. What are we going to talk about next? Okay. Is it possible to have two themes with the same, with the same site? The first page makes more text heavy, the second, one of the pages contains more photos and therefore a grid of photos versus a lot of That's a good question. Um, and we're talking about themes next. Um, yeah. Is it possible? Okay, so we talked about how you can post kind of the main area and that's more dynamic, and the pages are more static. But is it possible to have two areas that are dynamic? Hmm. It would be dependent on the theme. So the question was, can you have two areas that have sort of separate right. blog role type things? It, it is possible, but it would be dependent on the theme. Yeah. How do you? Most themes have the blog as their home page. Mm -hmm. Can you always change it so that the, you have a static page as your home page and the blog is? It would page? depend on the theme, whether that first page is the index or not, but generally, yes. Yeah. You go to reading. OK, you do some reading. Change. Yeah. OK, good. Yeah. I didn't know. Uh, yes. Thank you for correcting me. Yeah. So every time you create a page, it creates a tab. Uh, so every time you create a page, does it create a tab at the top? Automatically? Not necessarily, no. It would depend on the theme. Yeah. Your parents and child pages? OK, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a separate, yeah. But um, it would depend on the theme. Typically, with most themes, but you're going to have pages laid out. That's what happened. Just tell me that that's what happened. Yes. That's what happened, yes. OK, so you, but you can change that. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that. Yeah. Third uh, Now, can you put a blog on a page so that you want section of a page to be a blog, but you don't want the whole page to be a Not really, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is yeah. Say so. yeah. Is everybody following that? Because I, I think that was a really good illustration of what I just said in a nutshell. And, and if everybody is on that same hypothetical page. Can you so say that again? The, so the, the pages kind of collect in this area that's a special part of the blog that's a little bit more static than the index. Or the, the, the blog part of the site is a separate area. Mm -hmm. Everybody's getting that? Because that's great if you're getting that. What's that? You can add to every page, so essentially it's, it's only for the blog instead of the blog. Well, with a blog, keep in mind, each post could be listed out. Each post is going to be listed out one underneath the other, right? Whereas a page is just going to have one bit of content. So you can continue to add to that page. Separately. You can add to the page, yes. Can you use, is it possible to have the tab within the business that is not clickable? To say, for instance, if you have a parent category, and you only want people to be able to click the, the child categories, then you have that be only a folder of the categories you want me. Like, that's, that's not a page, yes. You can use custom menu to do that and just put the number system on the first one and then we'll just drop it Okay. Um, yes. This is why this structure of the, of the site, because all of the questions right now are about themes, and that's where I want to go next.